Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2020. Object Class, Euclid Exequi. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2020 is kept in a Type 4 humanoid containment cell at Site-17. Standard amenities and precautions associated with T4HCC are in place. Dietary Supplement 2020-9, consisting of 1.4 kg of used shredded paper, is to be provided daily. SCP-2020 cell is to be monitored for any unusual activity, with all vocalizations transcribed. 128 grams of tissue samples from SCP-2020 are kept at subsite Bio-17. Access to SCP-2020 or its biological samples are to be approved by the head of SCP-2020's research team. Description SCP-2020 is a sapient humanoid entity approximately 2.2 meters in height and 70 kilograms in mass. SCP-2020 possesses unusually long and thin limbs, as well as facial features commonly associated with gray aliens see file photo, and bright green coloration. SCP-2020's body is composed primarily of a novel form of natural rubber that appears to serve skeletal, muscular, circulatory, and endocrine functions. SCP-2020's digestive system and nutritional requirements are consistent with its diet, which consists entirely of paper and water. SCP-2020 has not shown any signs of growth or aging since recovery. Further study of SCP-2020's biology has been hindered by the rubber's toughness and resistance to tearing, which renders standard methodologies ineffective, as well as its dissimilarity to terrestrial biology. SCP-2020 claims to originate from a technologically advanced extraterrestrial civilization, but will make wildly different claims regarding the nature and location of this civilization when questioned. Given the circumstances of SCP-2020's recovery, see document Belenkin Roswell 2020, this avenue of research is nonetheless considered viable. SCP-2020's behavior suggests that it shares many psychological similarities with humans, such as the ability to learn, a desire for interaction, and partial understanding of social norms. It is fluent in English and responds to the names Artie, Bobby, and Izzy. It is not engaged in hostile behavior and appears indifferent to its own containment. SCP-2020 will frequently attempt to engage personnel in conversations regarding its desire to write science fiction and numerous ideas it has for science fiction stories. It has thus far failed to produce any actual writing, citing an inability to choose a concept. See attached transcript for details. Addendum Excerpt from Interview 2021 ASO SCP-2020 was permitted to speak to researcher King on any topic it wished. No, no, wait guys, I have an idea, a better idea. There's this facility, right? It was made by someone at some time in the past to, to bring the whole world back from the apocalypse. Like, something could blow a big hole in the earth, then the facility went, game over, play again, why slash him? That hole could just be the Marianas Trench, because the facility can do pretty much anything with physics and technology, I think. <laughs> Cliché, right? I don't really know how exactly this fits into a story or anything, but I mean, it could be the setting, I think. I guess I can think. Guys, guys, I've had another idea. Forget that one. This one. This one is a brain in a jar. There's a guy. Cliché, right? But like... The idea here is that I just run with it. Crazy, nutty professor type. Nutty inventions that don't work. Complete nonsense. But it's all working, guys. The guy and his inventions could be like a superhero or something. <laughs> the germy vacuum. The, 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 the vacuum brain in a jar with germs. <laughs> that sounds wrong. I'll think of something. It's okay, though, because I just got this awesome idea. There's a wizard. Wait for it. From space. A space wizard. Guys, that's not the only part, though. He's a cyborg. And he's with five... With five cat girls. And guess what the twist is? <laughs> that's right. 
the cat girls, also cyborgs, and they fight crime. Cliché, right? I mean, but it's not, because they're fighting space crime. Crime in space, does that make sense, guys? The story would be about them being cyborgs and fighting crime. Actually, no, because I just got a better idea. Wait, it's an AI, right? An artificial intelligence on a computer. Cliché, right? Well, it makes simulations of the perfect world for that person, and then, and then it eats their brains. Guys, but maybe it's not actually doing that. And I, or I guess the characters, don't know for sure that it's actually doing that because we can't see inside it. But here's a plot twist, though. It then puts a fake brain in them and makes the bodies convince other people to go into the simulation. It's a horror story, or a sci-fi horror story. Science horror story. <laughs> Wait, guys, here's another idea for you. I, I just got this idea. There's a time machine, right? And it sends people to the future and then back to the present. And in the future, in the future, everyone dies from an asteroid. I mean, not everyone, just enough people that it's like everyone. Cliche, right? <laughs> well, the main characters, or I guess it could be the villains, or villain protagonists, they're trying to make sure that the future happens. Guys, that's because every time they try to look at another future, that future is even worse because it involves actually everyone dying. Except for one time where it's like a who wants to live forever deal. I don't know what the actual story is, but I'll think of something. Okay, wait. But seriously, better idea. Guys, there's this alien, right? Like they have in the movies, with the green skin and the black eyes and everything. Cliché, right? But wait. And for whatever reason, I'll think of that later, it really wants to become a science fiction writer, but it can't stop coming up with ideas long enough to do it. And the twist, here's the twist, is that it's talking to some people. And they're from a government agency that already has all the things it's talking about. And they're like, how does it know this stuff? And does it even know it's all real? <laughs> right? Wait, 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 wait. Two words. Just two words. Laser butt disease. Wait, wait, guys. That was actually three? That was three words. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. All right. I think that about does it for today. Thank you all for listening, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Andre Bichert, Pierce M. Hamlin, Muslim Wookie, Jax Merrick, Caleb Bowen, Slump God, John O. Porter, Captain Gorge, Tyver Ball, Cody Tench, Cheese Whip, Dips McGee, and Dr. Mortis. Thank you all so much for your support. It's greatly appreciated. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos, and some other cool stuff as well, go to patreon.com forward slash the Vulcan. Thank you. <laughs>